What time is it? Cookie time! Alright, so I was thinking of making Susan's cookies today. Um, I always see them in a the grocery store and they're all so expensive. So I was like, I could make that. Sure. So I found a recipe and uh, we're going to experiment today and see what happens. Maybe it'll be good, maybe not. Maybe we'll just give it to friends or co-workers. So, things you're going to need. Two sticks of butter, or well, one cup of butter, which is about two sticks. Um, you want to leave them out for a little bit so they're soft and they're easy to beat. Then you're going to also need three tablespoons of sugar, almond extract, about... Not about, but you need one teaspoon of almond extract, three tablespoons sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and two cups of flour. Ta da! Okay. And then you're also gonna need a mixer. I have this one, because that's all I can afford at the moment. If you wanna donate money to me, by all means, please leave it in the comment below that you wanna. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is beat the butter well first thing you want to do actually is preheat your oven to 400, 400 degrees i can't talk because yeah so you're going to preheat your oven to 400 degrees um i'm doing this ahead of time because i like to chill this cookie i think it'll be easier to chill once you're done mixing with all of this to chill it out so it'll be easier to roll out into balls later on but yeah whichever okay so we're going to beat this butter Wash my hands. So you're gonna beat it till it's about broken up. We're no longer soft. See? Simple. Okay, so from here, you're gonna add the sugar, salt, and vanilla extract. And you're gonna mix it a little bit more. Ah, I'm gonna a uh, spatula. Hold up. Oh, get a spatula. My friend Dusty gave this to me, and I still use it. Thanks, Dusty. You're amazing. Duh. Okay. So it just makes it so it's all incorporated, like so. And then you're going to slowly add the flour. And you don't want to add it all at once because, A, you'll have a, you'll have a dust cloud. But also, I don't know. It's just easier. So, about halfway through, this is how it looks. I you can see it well. Yeah. Starting to form a jelly. Ooh, dust cloud, did you see that? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to use a spatula to kind of... Pat it all down, scrape the sides. You wanna make sure you get all that happiness in there so that they are all getting along nicely. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I don't know why I think foods talk to each other. It's too much Toy Story said with food. Okay, all incorporated. It looks kind of crumbly, so I'm going to, even more so why I want to refrigerate now a little bit. So I'm going to scrape all this goodness off of here as much as I can. And then I'm going to just kind of, kind of form like a, a ball maybe? I don't know. Again, this is my first time making it, so hopefully this is how it's supposed to go. Get this out of the way. 
yeah, it's very doughy. Obviously doughy. But I meant like it feels like it's coming together nicely. So just use your hands. I guess knead it a little bit. And then I'm going to place this. You're going to have about the size of a... Maybe a grapefruit? Grapefruit size? Softball size? I don't know. I don't play sports. Let's use grapefruit. Maybe about a little bit bigger than a grapefruit. Looks like this. Easy to manage. And then I'm just going to put this in the icebox and let it chill. Literally. <laughs> I get it. Stupid. I'm going to let it chill. And then I'm going to come back to it later. And then I'm going to form it into balls and bake it. Okay, so this is the dough. I refrigerated it already. Um, and it's still solid, but it's fine. This is what I wanted, so it's easier to mold. Um, you want to grab balls of it, about that big. Um, I want to say it's about the size of a ping pong ball. And then all you do is just roll it, and you put it in your pan. I don't know if it's because I refrigerated them or what, but they're kind of breaking apart a little bit. So as you saw, I don't know if you saw it earlier, but I was kind of making them flat first so that I could pound them so that they're solid, and then roll it into a ball. I'm probably gonna, um, what do they call it? Time lapse this part. Cause who wants to watch fucking five minutes of me rolling balls out? Yeah, she told me that. I hope these come out good. Oh. This is the first time I've ever made them. I hope these come out good. I'm making those cookies, you know the ones that you and Dennis always get? I know. With a oh chocolate cup. Yeah, you're so irritating. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> a day. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, they're all laid out in the pan. I might try pressing it with, by, by itself um, with this scooper, half a teaspoon. Um, it's stuck really badly, so I tried pan. Pan didn't work, so now I'm going to try flour and see what happens. Still kind of junky, but I think the flour will work best. So you're just gonna press um, till it's flat, um, as you can see, so that there's enough um, space for the um, filling that you're gonna put in. Um, I'm gonna fill it in with a chocolate filling that I will show you how to make in a bit. Um, I think I've seen some more people put jam and stuff too. Um, I think in some of them also I'm going to top it with almonds, just to put my own touch on it. I'm sure it's one of those cookies, you can do whatever. Whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. Put some crack in it too, if you want crack. I do not condone drugs, so I'm going to edit that part out. See? Nice, right? So, um, I'm also making them as flat as, let's see if I can get, like this flat. Um, about, I don't know, what was that, like an inch? A second measurement, but, you know, you've seen these cookies before. You want to make them as flat as you've seen them in the stores. Coming up nicely. Flour seems to work well. Um, some of them, I don't know if you can see, they're, nope. Where is it? There. This one? Like it's cracking, but I'm sure it's fine. We'll find out once it's done baking and see what masterpieces come out. Ooh, this looks good, Mother Truckers. Ooh, I bet M&M's would be good in this too. Or peanut butter. Ooh, chocolate peanut butter would be nice. All right, so here they are. Oh, ooh, almost lost it. I'm gonna put it in a preheated oven of 375 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes till they're golden brown. Ooh, sunburn from the beach. Um, and then we'll check on it in a bit. Okay, so let's make the filling. It says you're supposed to use one ounce or two tablespoons of um, unsweetened chocolate squares. I don't have that and I'm on a budget. So I'm gonna use semi-sweet chocolate chips. So we've got that. Um, and then you're gonna need, excuse me. Gonna need one, 
well, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let's find a half teaspoon. Ta da, there we are. Okay. That's the microwave going off. Because in there I have the um, two tablespoons of hot milk. Um, you just put in your microwave and then I put it in for like 45 seconds. Enough to make the milk hot, obviously. Um, I guess it's obviously enough to make it so the chocolate will melt, as you can see. And then very slowly, you add this in. The powdered sugar, you, um, this is about two cups. Well, it is two cups, because I'm very, try to be very exact when I do this. Ooh, it's looking good. I'm kind of surprised. I thought this isn't going to be enough um, liquid for all the sugar, but it's coming out nicely. Okay. I already took out the cookies. I'm letting them cool for a little bit so that they're not overly hot. Ooh, this looks good. Um, it's very thick, as you can see. Um, but still, you know, stirrable, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let's put this all together. One more thing, you also have to add in a tablespoon, or two tablespoons, one tablespoon, sorry, of butter. Then, how can I forget butter? How can you forget the best thing in life? Okay, so you mix that in. I mean, it tastes good without the butter, but I guess, I'm sure the butter does something chemical wise. It's already thickening, so that's nice. That's good. Okay. Okay, so here we have the cookies. They're kind of a nice, uh, I wouldn't say golden brown, but I felt them and they feel pretty solid. Um, I put the chocolate in a plate bag, or it's a black bag, and I cut a little hole in it so it'll be easier to manage, handle. And you're just gonna fill it in, as you can see. Um, Obviously, it's not the cleanest. I'm not good at being clean, but it's getting on there. That's all that matters. I'm hoping the chocolate will harden as it sits out. I guess we'll soon find out. Ooh, this is so messy. Yes, I am a messy chef. Um, earlier, in my food processor, I chopped up some almonds. Which you could do, you know, with your hands too. You don't need a food processor. Take out stress a little bit from your day. Ooh, Lord. Good thing I am a contest because I would not get points for presentation, I'll tell you that. So as you can see, I've chopped up some almonds in my food processor, a couple blends, a couple zaps, and then I'm just gonna put it on top. So here we go, cookies, Susan's uh, thumbprint, whatever you want to call them, chocolate cookies. Hopefully this video has helped you um, in your process of making these cookies, and hopefully it turns out good. It looks good, it smells good. Hopefully it'll harden good too. Enjoy, I'll see you later, bye!